Oh, yeah, high on a windy hill overlooking the lush Nittany Valley sits Beaver Stadium packed with some 85,000 people this afternoon for the ball game between the Cornhuskers and the Nittany Lions. Here come the Cornhuskers. 1980, they have rolled over Utah and Iowa. They are ranked third in both national wire service polls. There's Joe Paterno, the athletic director and head coach, and here they come. has won the toss, elected to receive. It'll be Kurt Warner, the man we told you about in the pregame program, deep with Kevin Bowe and Jonathan Williams. Two freshmen and a sophomore. Seibel's kickoff goes into the end zone and out of the field of play. Jeff Hostetler will start at quarterback. Kurt Warner will be at tailback for Penn State. Booker Moore has moved from tailback to fullback this year. Mickey Urquhart is your flanker. And Tom Wise from their own 20, and they're working into a mile read. Horstep to set them out of the eye formation. And fumble. And covers it. Bill Dugan is a 278 tackle. Wodowitz, John, is a 246-pound guard. Bob Jagger is a 243-pound center. Sean Farrell, 252-pound guard. Pete Sparrow is a 242-pound tackle. And Brad Scoville is a 211-pound tight end. Second down and 12. And stop! Ostetler is taken off of his feet. Jerry Nelson without somebody on the blind side to help you. From the nine-yard line, Warner breaks out of the pack and goes across the 30. And it's a first down. And there is the young man we told you about. At the 32, it's first down for Penn State. The first flash of excitement of the ball game. And of this lads are thrown. Booker Moore to the outside of the sideline, and he's faster than your average fullback. But there is a penalty flag back at the line of scrimmage. Artie Falk. Illegal procedure. Penn State. The run by Moore is nullified. Nebraska defensive front. Williams, Clark, Heinlein, Williams, and Nelson. The Williams are brothers. Linebackers and secondary. Baker, Williams, Lindquist, Mean, Sims, and Gary. And the Nebraska defensive front just took on some new respect for the offensive front of Penn State, didn't they? Yes. Long count by Ross Stetler. He has a man in motion. That man in motion turned up field and caused the illegal procedure to fall against him. Ross Stetler's pass incomplete. He had Scoville open. It's a beautiful day. Greg Garrett is in at flanker now, number 19, for Penn State. Lions are in the dark blue. Fullback, Booker Moore, Moore, double wide to the top of the picture. Now they bring Urquhart in motion back this way. Hostetler back to throw it, has pressure, they've got him. Throw the Cornhusker for the second time in the ball game. Get it out of there around the 19. Good kick, high hanger. Dave Legal for Nebraska. And good coverage by Penn State at the Nebraska 28-yard line. Jeff Quinn opens at quarterback, a senior for the Cornhuskers. Andre Franklin from Anniston, Alabama, great fullback, I think, great blocker. Here's the man, Jarvis Redwine. Anthony Steeles is at wingback, he can flat fly, and Todd Brown is at That's Redwine. So both tailbacks show some moves. That ball squirted loose from Redwine, but they're going to call it down. And Randy Tice, 257, tackle Joe Adams, 239. Adams covered that loose ball. Dave Remington at center, 254, so quick. Randy Schleusner, remember him from the Oklahoma game, 256. Dan Hurley is at 271, and Jeff Finn at 252. The defense for Penn State, Cuban, Case, Jones, Kugler, and Gladys. Kugler started eight games at offensive tackle last year. Ashley, Fritz, Edwards, Walsh, Bradley, and Harris, the secondary and linebackers. Five-man front up there right now for Penn State on first down Husker. And it's Redwine. And Jarvis is dropped at the 41. Tim McCready and John Noonan are the wingback and the wide receiver now. 
as Flynn goes down the line. Gives the left line. He's loose outside. And look out. All the way down to the Penn State 40-yard line. Call it the 41 of Penn State. Steals is wide to the right side. They send red line in motion now and give the ball off to Franklin, the big fullback. And Penn State moving around a little bit. Quinn keeps it, turns it up the middle, and he is thrown down right at the line of scrimmage. Third and eight. Red line is in the slot. And Quinn to throw. Throw short, pass caught, comes loose. No, McCready had it in his hands. Here you go. Huskers go to the front, and the kick angles to the left side, drops in the end zone. Warner is the deep man out of the eye. Booker Moore, the fullback, and Hostetler is the quarterback. Nebraska in a four-man front right now as they give the ball to Kurt Warner, and Warner turns it for about five yards. It'll be second down and five for the Nittany Lions. That's the 25. The Nebraska secondary is really in tight the ball off to Warner. Warner loses a shoe. And that's Warner. And he's got the first down. Got it out to about the 32. But Warner now, four carries and 34 yards in the ball game. Ball loose. Nebraska's got it. The Cornhuskers come up for the fumble at the 30. And guess who? Gary Nelson for the Lions give Nebraska a chance at the 30-yard line. Quinn with Franklin and Redwine back of him, steals in the slot. And it's Franklin and Andre is inside the 25 to the 23. It is second down and three from the Penn State 23 for the Huskers. Redwine, look out. He had uh, McCready out there. Like first down, goal to go at the Penn State seven-yard line. Red line's in motion. The fullback back to He's to the goal line, but not quite. And that was second effort. The ball is just short of the goal line. Second down and goal to go. Quinn. He's not in. Yes, he is. Touchdown, Nebraska. Well, I'll tell you one thing. The officials took their time, didn't they? He did. Quinn's hole. Quinn's hole. Number 11. Straight through the middle. And the Cornhuskers have taken the lead. 7 to nothing. Penn State turned it over. Darren Nelson recovered the fumble on the 30-yard line. And Nebraska took it in. It's out of Vermilion, South Dakota. A knuckleball. Takes time for it to bounce around. Jonathan Williams, a freshman from Somerville, New Jersey, picks it up, and he's another one of those freshman flyers. 39 yard line of Penn State, first down. Nebraska leads 7 0. Hostetler rolling out to throw the ball. Down he goes. That is the third sack of the ball game. Jimmy Williams, second down and 15. Quarterbacks have been sacked for a total of 20 yards. Settler with it, goes outside to Kurt Warner, Warner to the sidelines, and he cuts it upfield for third down, seven for Penn State. A little better protection this time for Horst Settler, his pass is off, the pass is complete, and it's good for a Penn State first down. That's got to be sore, because USC really did beat on him last week. Right. They really did handle him, but he's still got 134, 40 yards. Caught behind the line of scrimmage by Jimmy Williams. Tom Wise is way, way wide to the left side of the field, the open side. Now they're going to have two men over here. But they go the other way for Warner. And Kirk cuts for the sidelines, and he steps out of bounds. He's in at a wide receiver spot. Four step left. Nelson one more time. Tate had a good one his first time. This one he doesn't spin quite as much and hooks it out of bounds. So the Cornhuskers are going to have reasonably good field position. It'll... Ah, 
here comes something fresh. They move the tight end over and the slot man over. And Quinn is hit behind the line of scrimmage. Well, how do you do? Second down and 13 from the 23. The pass has got a screen set up for Redwine. Redwine, who does a 4 3 8 40, the fastest man on the team. They're playing on real grass and Mother Earth here at State College, but it doesn't seem to slow anybody down. It's Redwine again. This time he runs into a stack. But Tim McCready at the wingback. Second down and eight from the Penn State 39. Quinn to Redwine. East of the 34. Third and a short three for the first down. Red wine. And he's got the first down as he hits the 30-yard line. Tight in and the uh, wing back moving again from right to left. A lot of movement on the trenches. Now you get a penalty flag. Down to throw the football. First down. Todd Brown to the right. Win to Red Wine. And Jarvis, penalty flag here, 15 yards. First quarter's just about over. This will be the last play. Red wants to go deep with it, puts it up. Oh, just through the hands of Todd Brown, who can see the ball go right through Brown's hands at the goal line. First quarter's over. Nebraska leads it seven to nothing. Numbers there reflected in the first period of play. A turnover, the big difference so far in the ball game. Second down and 26. And the ball is handed off to Andre Franklin. He runs it down to about the 40. We'll see Todd Blackledge, I think, in a little bit. A quarterback for the line. Third down and 20. Quinn, good protection, pass to the sidelines, good. Out of bounds at the 25. Fourth down, the ball at the 25, a 42-yard field goal attempt. Eddie Neal, sophomore out of Pasadena, left foot it up. And missed it. He didn't get it solid. Todd Blackledge, freshman, North Canton, Ohio, now in at quarterback for Penn State. He's a little quicker. Ball given to Kurt Warner, and Kurt fights his way across the line of scrimmage with Kenny Jackson, number 82, comes to the wide right side for Penn State. Blackledge back to throw. Almost falls down, gets in trouble, gets his pass off. That'll get him a flag. Nope, third down and eight. Blackledge. Goes over the middle, and it is incomplete. The pass intended. Yeah. Pretty good kick. That's legal. Davis gets outside. Penalty flag back inside the 30-yard line. Good. Moving the back probably the 15-yard line. Inside the 15. First down for the Cornhuskers. It is Johnson, Craig Johnson in a tailback now with delay. Whistle stops him. Then the defense moved. He tried to change the play again. Delay is second down, 11 from inside the 14. Johnson. Craig Johnson is caught right at the 15 and rolled back with his goal on at his back. Quinn's pass whistled over the middle. Good for a first down. It is out to the 26, maybe the 27. And first down, Huskers at their own 27. Come on, That's Craig Johnson, the eye back to the 33. It's fumbled and the scramble, and Nebraska keeps control of it. Jarvis Redwine. Third and ten. And Penn State. Williams. Rush on. Kick is away. Good kick. Lukowski. Former quarterback. 
first down at their own 33, trailing by seven. And it's Kurt Warner up over the top to the 36. Second down and seven. Pressure's on. Blackledge is sacked. It is Kurt Heinlein, the junior. That sounds bad. Third down and long. From the 26 over the middle, the pass for Scoville is knocked down and picked up by Sammy Sims, the monster man. And Sims, running like a halfback, goes all the way back inside the 20-yard line. Big play. At the 19-yard line, it's first down. Second turnover and the first interception of the ball came in Franklin, the fullback. Second down from the 16 of Penn State. Red line in motion. Gwen rolls toward him, whips it out to him. He's got some daylight. He's inside the five. He's down to the three. First and goal to go from the three. Red wine. Touchdown. And hold. Everything works. And the kick is good. Six minutes and 51 seconds to play in the first half. And the Cornhuskers have broken up. Eddie Neal kicks off. High kick. Warner has it at the 11. Looking for the picket line to the outside. Couldn't find it. So they wrestle him down at the 26. Five-man front up there right now for the Huskers. Defensively. Blacklitch gives it off to Bookamore, the fullback, gets outside on the sidelines and runs it well. It is just short of the first down, as you saw, second down. Let's see if the Lions go for something bigger than a foot. Give it to the fullback, Moore. He's not too bad, that fella. First down. The ball is just short of the 38-yard line. And Blacklitch on an option, keeps it. Todd turns it up across the 40 to near the 43. Second down, six. Kurt Warner. And he's pretty close to his first down. Rick, he's got two tailbacks to the ball game. They've actually got Williams up there in a slot back position. And he's got the ball, and he's got the first down. So, 45-yard line of Nebraska. First down for Penn State. Blacklidge has some time, puts it high, he's got a man, it is complete, out of bounds, goes Kenny Jackson, the freshman from South River, New Jersey, first and goal to go, Penn State, at the five, it's Williams diving up through the middle, he gets maybe two, Warner is 25, it's Warner, touchdown. formation the heart it's good 406 Penn State goes 74 yards in eight plays and it's a 14 to 7 ball game and the kickoff by Menhart high hanger Humble. picked up on the one Anthony Steeles gets back to the 10 minutes to go. They put the ball at the 11 of Nebraska. First down. 14-7 ball game and Red Line has it. And he's down at the 10. Second down, a little more than 10. Ball just outside the 10-yard line. Red Line comes right up the middle and finds some room and gets a first down out at the 22. First down at the 22. Time number 99 sends him up for Penn State. Here comes that wing back reverse with Anthony Steele's carrying, and it doesn't work. Third down, and about 14. Win straight back. Throws to the sideline, pass good to Todd Brown. At the 34 with a minute 52 to play in the first half. Red line hit behind 
the line of scrimmage. It was Matt Bradley. Boss is back inside the 29. Second down. At about 15. Quinn Sack. Ed Fritz, linebacker, was coming all the way. Third down and 25 for Nebraska. Jamer's kick, big rush, he's knocked down, nope, no foul, bad kick, and Penn State's got good field position. They tip the ball, and yep, you saw the referee go give you the tip sign. So the ball now is at the 44-yard line of Nebraska. Blackwood wants to go, he goes deep, he's got a man wide open, and he missed him. Kevin Ball was wide. Second down and 10 from the Nebraska 44. Blackledge getting some pressure. Gets his pass off over the middle. It is intercepted. Pass intended for Scoville. Intercepted by Sammy Sims. He is second interception of the first half. And takes away an opportunity. From the 35-yard line. The ball is handed off to Jarvis Redwine. And Redwine turns it into a big play. All the way to the Penn State 43. From the Penn State 43. Jeff rolls it out. Good protection. Passes away. Passes up. And down at the 30-yard line is Jeff Finn, the tight end. First down at the Penn State 30. Good lines in motion. And the right side. That's an expensive mistake. Penn State still single calling, single calling the wide receiver. First down and 15 from the 35. Over the middle it goes to Finn, the tight end. Finn's down to the 27 with nine seconds. It'll be a 44-yard field goal attempt. He's hooked it, and he's missed it. He didn't have enough on it either. I don't believe the ball would have gotten close. the first half is over. Nebraska cashes in on two Penn State turnovers and lead at halftime by a score of 14 to 7. Thank you very much, Bill. Second half is ready to go as Penn State kicks off to Nebraska. Anthony Steele takes it and finds some running room up the middle and to the outside. And so the Cornhuskers... 38-yard line, the Cornhuskers give it to Jervis Redwine. And Redwine is shut down. Second down and about seven yards to go for Nebraska. Jeff Quinn still has it and throws it, and it is incomplete. He threw the ball right into number 50, and Remington, the center, number 50, reached out and tried to catch it. Third down, the ball is back up to 29. They've got to go to the 48 for the first down. They need... 15 yards and they'll go up the middle to Red Lion and Jervis is stacked up at the 32. Get it off about the 23. Pretty good kick. It runs Rakowski way back to the 18 yard line. And Nebraska puts him on the ground. They on the offensive. Pick. First down for the Lions, 25. And the pitch to Warner. And Warner gets it up about the 29. Jimmy Williams comes up with a football, and Nebraska's got it. So four big mistakes, and two of them were cashed in in the first half for a touchdown. Let's see if the Cornhuskers can do it here as Franklin tries to veer to the outside. It is second down and 12. The ball is just outside the Penn State 30 for the Huskers. As they try to cash in. Quinn keeps it and gets to the 23. And doing. Here is Seibel in now for a 40-yard field goal. Plenty of leg, and it's no good. So Nebraska's field goal. Huskers missed the field goal. Lions go to work first down at their own 23. Oh, did you see that hit? There's a penalty flag. He shoots the gap. He's on the center. He comes clean into the backfield. And it's just head up, and you kiss the football with your helmet. Wow. There's an illegal procedure call going against Penn State. 
Jeff Merrill has gone to the middle guard position for Nebraska out of a four-man front. Now another man steps up to make it five, Jimmy Williams. Here's the pass to the sideline, and the pass is incomplete. Quick kick. Over the head of Sims. It takes a Penn State bounce, and it's going to roll dead. The Nebraska 27-yard line as Kevin Bow, the freshman, kicks it 53 yards. I love it. At the 26, call it. For Nebraska, their own 26. First down. They lead 14 to 7 here in the third quarter, and it's a red line up the middle. And he found some daylight on the right side. Second down about two and a half. A 34, third down, and two. Franklin, first down. Andre Franklin to the 42-yard line. Boy, Stanford, if they pay attention to what they're doing, can be troublesome here. Squins pass outside, complete. And a little help from his friends and Todd Brown. Picks up another first down at the Penn State 46. Red wine. Well, he ran into something hard over there, I'll tell you. Second down and eight from the 44. Pass good. Pass complete to Steve Davies. Tight end. First down for Nebraska. Huskers lead 14 to 7, and they're on the prow. Quinn keeping. Outside it goes. Out of bounds goes Tim McCready, the wingback. Second down and three from the 26. That's Red Wine, and Jarvis has a first down at the 17 of Penn State. George Rogers is a good football player, let me tell you. He's a great kid. 17-yard line, pass complete inside the 10 to Todd Brown. Looks like a second down and about a foot for the first down for Nebraska from the seven. I think the big guy made it. <laughs> Go back. Red wine. And he's got the first down as he goes over the five. First and goal to go for the Huskers from the four. Red wine. To the two. Second down goal to go. And it's red wine touchdown. And he's rapidly becoming vintage. <laughs> he's got it. And with 5.55 to play in the third quarter, the Cornhuskers put together an impressive drive. A crowd of just about 85,000 people. Nebraska leading 21 to 7. And look at that hanging kick. Kurt Warner drifts under it at the 8-yard line. Almost found some daylight. He almost found a little daylight. Jimmy Williams instead goes to work from its own 26. Plus Petler is the quarterback. Hands it off to Booker Moore. And Booker breaks it to the 40. Pullback. And Booker Moore. Or Mike Mead, the pullback now. in motion. Pressure on Hostetler and the Huskers have him back at the 35. Jimmy Williams on the ground. They got something to make it. Go to the feeling though that you can throw the ball against Oklahoma this year until the green secondary got some experience. Over the middle goes the pass and it is incomplete. Giacomaro's kick is away. Penalty flags are down and I'll tell you Ralph really hit a beauty there. He knocks it in the end zone. He hit that ball 70 yards but let's yeah, see about the flag. see John the blue team. Bad ball foul. With I guess on the next possession. This time Giacomaro hits it. It's a good kick again. Sort of knuckle balls it up there. Back at the 15 yard line. Accepted by Legal who comes up to about the 19 and uh, the line is pulling down. That is Jim Cotera are the setbacks out of the I formation behind Quinn. Quick snap. Ball goes to Craig Johnson. Johnson fresh. Runs it all the way out to the 33. The three good tailbacks. Or eye backs. Quinn. 
Little fake, kept it, and moved it from the 33. Second down, about eight. That's with high back Johnson. And number 99, Greg Jones, for third down, long five. Little pop class, good. Todd Brown, and it's a first down, Nebraska. And Quinn is 11 out of 14 for 152. Greg Johnson, second down, five. The ball is at the Penn State 49. Number 76 comes out of there, Bob Halatton. Blackledge is in at quarterback now for Penn State with a minute and 23 to go. Blackledge back to throw it, gets it off over the middle, and there's nobody there. He had one man downfield, second down and 10. delay and Kurt Warner is smothered. Oh, yeah, maybe. We have illegal procedure on the glue, the offense. Not very in impressive totals, are they? Third down and 17. Blacklitch gets it off under pressure. Scoble can't bring it down. And he is really whacking recent generation. Here's the kick by Giacomaro, and it's a good one. Legal back. Retreats to his 12. And comes back out to about the 17. Fifth. Round wide. Red one. 22. Clock is running. Third quarter is going to end. 21-7 Nebraska. We'll continue after this message and the word from our local station. Second down. The ball is at the 23. They need five. Red wine. Got five and then some. Oh, ho. Down goes to Jarvis Red wine. That's the fullback, Franklin. He's a worthy challenger for Alan Minter. Minter's quite a question. Wins pass in the air. The pass is incomplete, almost intercepted, intended for Finn. Third down. And eight. Nebraska at their own 48-yard line. Win the throw. Pressure's on. Pass is off. Pass is good. Caught by 24 McCready. It is a first down. The ball is at the Penn State 44. Red wide up the middle. Line goes to the 34 of Penn State. He's number 21. He's in there along with Potera. Tim Potera. And it's Potera who carries and gets a couple. Dave Remington. Watch him come off the snap now. Watch him. Oh, well, he didn't go that fast. Well, it was a pass. <laughs> yep. Third down, 11 now. Big play for the Penn State defense. Big play for Nebraska if they want to keep the ball. Win back to throw it. Over the middle, McCready incomplete. Double coverage, 45. Let's see if he can hit a corner with it. Hangs it up. Oh, yeah, they're going to down that ball deep. Back on the nine-yard line. Blackledge is the quarterback for Penn State. Hands the ball off to Kurt Warner. And Warner gets out to about the 12. For on a roll to throw, goes to the sideline, the pass is caught, and caught inbound. Penn State's going to put it up, pressure's on, ball comes rolling loose, and Lions recover it, left with Iowa. Second down and a half a mile, Blackledge out of the end zone, throws the bullet, the pass is complete to Mickey Urquhart. And Urquhart gets it up around the 24, third and 13. Over the middle it goes, it is incomplete. Penalty flag. I thought you might have one there. We have interference on the defense. 
Murphy, first down. Penn State, first down. Blackledge on the option, keeps it. And he's got another Penn State first down at the Nebraska 39. Nebraska 13. Blacklick stands up to throw it, locks it up in the air, and no. Nobody near it. No. Booker Moore. And Blacklick reverses the ball off. It's fumbled. Fight for it. Nebraska's got it, looks like. story in Penn State's fortunes in this game. Here comes Curtis Redwine. And he's got a Nebraska first down. Wynn gives it to Andre Franklin. Has a yard. Well, I bet it's a quiet stadium in Norman. Here's Quinn turning it upfield. It's another first down as Quinn picks it up near midfield. And Jeff gives the ball off to Redwine. Redwine hammers in the middle. Second down and six for Nebraska. Here's Jeff Quinn on the option. Huskers first down, Penn State 34. Roger Craig is the tailback. got it and he fumbled it and Penn State recovered it Steve Griffiths is on the ball first down at their own 33 that leads the quarterback throws the ball poorly to Booker Moore the fullback second down and 10 Blackledge comes it over the middle it is caught by Jackson and then he turns it loose and the rest has got it Kenny Jackson almost had a spectacular play. Covers it. The ball is right on target. Jackson catches the ball. Let's see. Nope, he juggles it first. Oh, that could have been an incomplete it, Either way. Now, let's see if he's got it when he hits the ground. If it... No, it's still floating no, around. I don't believe he ever had control of it. But the Huskers have it first down at their own 48-yard line. And Quinn flips it out of bad pitch. And Penn State gets it right back. Took it I out think. of bounds. Took it out of bounds, Keith. Oh, it'll be second down and about ten and a half yards for the Cornhuskers. And I think that's some procedure called. We've got illegal procedure on the red. And South Carolina upset Michigan 17-14. Here's Redwine to the outside. And Jarvis gets it back to midfield. Redwine now with 186 yards and running. And Quinn just rolls it out. And the sack by Larry Kubin. Number 88. They're all coming. Gamer gets his kick off, hangs it up pretty well. And uh, the question is, where did it go out of bounds? All right, Penn State at their own 28-yard line. First down with 448 to play in the ball game. Blackledge trying to throw it. He goes long, he goes for Jackson. The pass is complete. Clock running at four and a half minutes to play in a ball game. Blackledge fumbles the football, picks it up, and second down, about ten. Todd looking to throw it, and can't find anybody. And when you wait that long against this bunch from Lincoln, Nebraska, third down. Is now back at the 37, third and 20. Pass incomplete. It, Dave Legal is deep. That's a good kick. High hanger. Forcing a fair catch call. Back at the 32 for Nebraska. Speck. First down for Nebraska. Give the ball to Jarvis Redwine and Redwine. He's had a big day. 
Red wine again, running in traffic. He's out to the 35. Two minutes to go in the game. Third down and seven for Nebraska. Jeff Quinn on an option. Pitched and caught back at the 30. The kick is away by Gamer. Kenny Jackson chasing it over there, and he'll have no chance to return it. And so here's Penn State with a minute and 32 seconds to play in the football game. Mike looks to throw it. He's going big for Jackson. Can't get to it. There's a flag at midfield. And speed. He's just a freshman. Let's watch. Let's watch 34. See if he shows him before the ball gets there. Means. Evidently he did. That's a 38-yard penalty. Nine flags, 126 yards on Nebraska. Two big ones involving pass interference. Black looks back to throw it again. Can't get it away. Loses the football. But I think they threw him down right on top of it. Not 77. Just over a minute. And State second down. Long yardage. Black looks pass. Thrown outside. And not much for Mike Mead, the fullback. It's third down and about 20. gets it off over the middle. Scoble's there. It's intercepted by Russell Gary. And Gary is still running. Now they finally get him down to stop the clock with 27 seconds to play in the ball game. He's, There's a flag down back where the quarterback the play had long gone. Mark Maurer is now in at quarterback for Nebraska. To run out the clock for the clock. For Nebraska continues undefeated as the Cornhuskers beat the Nittany Lions of Penn State by a score of 21 to 7. So, Penn State it came into this ball game ranked 11th in uh, the major polls, bound to lose a little ground with this 14-point loss to Nebraska.